In a New York storage unit, Ghanaian photographer Paul Ninson is sorting through photography books and decades-old National Geographic magazines. This is just a fraction of the 30,000 African photo books he has collected, with which he intends to open Africa's largest photographic library. My way through photography was just looking at magazines and photography books. Um, some of these pictures are incredible. Um, some of these pictures um, tell stories of places, but mostly sometimes what I wonder is what if those people in those communities contribute to these stories in a way of self-expression of who they are. Do people in these communities accept how they are being depicted, especially the Africans? Ninson began collecting shortly after arriving in New York on a photography scholarship in 2019. While most New Yorkers were staying at home during the global health crisis, he was sifting through storage containers and struggling bookshops, working odd jobs and taking out personal loans to cover the costs of his obsession. He believes he's amassed the world's largest collection of African photography books. I was constantly emailing people, constantly emailing galleries, collections, private collectors, and say, telling them my vision and what I want to do. When his friend Brandon Stanton discovered what Ninson was doing, he promoted it on his blog alongside a crowdfunding campaign. That blog is the world famous Humans of New York, and the campaign raised $1 million in a single day. Next month, Ninson returns to Ghana's capital, Accra, where 18,000 of his books have already been shipped. There, he plans to build the Dikan Center a museum and learning institution where aspiring African photographers can take workshops, rent equipment and access studio space. Sometimes people see somebody like me differently. Why? Because the narrative which has been perpetrated for years has eroded in the people's mind and that is what is affecting my country and my Africa and people like me. Why? Because we've left the space for so long for people to tell their stories and distribute their stories. And that is what I want to be able to fill that, give the tools and the resources to African photographers and to black people to be able to tell our stories.